welcome back to the channel everyone in this video we have some early black armory loot a couple more triumphs you can get from farming some of these high value targets and also a giveaway that i'm going to do i do have the replica code for the lunas how and the last word now i'm not going to use those so i am just going to give them away if you are interested in getting them just hit that subscribe button and then comment down below that you're interested now I'm only going to let this go for one day, so on December 2nd, I am going to pick two names out of the comment section and give them the opportunity to pick which one they want. Now with that being said guys, we're going to jump right into it. There are four new high value targets. There are two on the EDZ and two on Nessus. Now the first will be a new server high value target and it can be found on the outskirts on the EDZ. Now I found it best just to sit here on this uh, broken bridge and kind of wait for it to spawn in. And once the high value target spawns in, you'll see it's shielded and it has these kind of orbs floating around them. In order to take that shield down, you have to shoot those orbs. And once the shield's down, you can just damage as much as you can. It is a 605, so they do take quite a bit of damage. Now upon killing these new high value targets, they are actually dropping some of the new black armory gear. Don't know if they're actually supposed to, but it is happening. Now there are these black chests too that you can open. They, however, they are not giving you anything at this time. Now you can open these chests if you want to. I would recommend not opening them because as soon as you kill that first high value target, if you actually teleport to the next area, the other high value target will be there too, as long as nobody else has already killed it. Now the second high value target on the EDZ will spawn in on the gulch. It'll spawn in right where the public event will spawn in at. And as I said before guys, there is triumph for killing these. Now if you kill both of them on the EDZ, you'll get a triumph to pop for that. And if you kill both of them on Nessus, you'll get a triumph for that one too. Now if you are going to farm these to try to get some of that new black armory gear, I would say doing the ones on Nessus, they seem to be the fastest too. You can get from one to the other without having to teleport. Now one of them will spawn in Art Artifact's Edge, and the other one will spawn in on the Hollows. So you can start off on Artifact's Edge. As soon as you kill him, you can just sparrow over to the Hollows and then kill that one. Now if you are going to try to farm these guys, I am going to warn you, this is RNG at its finest. I was on Nessus and I probably killed about 30 of these things and only got one black armor drop the entire time. However, there are quite a few weapons that seem to be actually dropping from these guys. Now, I, I have heard of somebody actually getting a double rampage shotgun. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be the new perk that's just there or if that may be even a little glitch. We'll have to wait and find out on December 4th. And as I was saying guys, after you kill that high value target, you don't want to get those black boxes or anything opened. You just want to jump on your sparrow and head over to the hollows as soon as you can. You're going to come to this big hole, drop down in it, and then your high value target will be sitting right here. And that's why I'm saying Nessus is probably the fastest one to farm. If you're going to farm this, you can literally just go from one to the other, no wait time, just... As always everyone, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Feel free to comment any questions you might have. And newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this.